everybody, this is Jen from CookiesCupcakesAndCardio.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Christmas chocolate house. And I'm going to be using a gingerbread house mold in order to do that. So you can call it a gingerbread house or it's chocolate, but there's no gingerbread except the little cute little men. So before we get started on the tutorial, I want to invite you to join our newsletter. It's brand new and click on the link in the description box so you can be kept up to date on insider tips and tricks and things that you won't find anywhere else. So let's get started on this Christmas tutorial. To make our house, we're going to be using some pink chocolate and I also have some white chocolate. You can use whatever colors of chocolate that you so desire and the same goes for the candies. I'm going to go through what mine are here just so you can copy me if you want to. So I have some silver Dragées here. I also have some rainbow colored Mike and Ike's, a whole bunch of different colors. Now here, this is a candy covered chocolate called Smarties here in Canada and we're using pink and brown. I also have some small jelly beans to use. Now for my house, I'm going to be using these yogurt colored covered pretzels. I also have some strawberry Pocky and I'm going to be needing four of these rock candy on a stick, little sticks things here. Um, now I also over here have some of these silver cola balls and then I also have these these are just candy coated almonds and that's just a silver candy coating. I have some rainbow bits to use and I'm also going to be using some clear sanding sugar. Now in this bowl here, I have a whole bunch of different candies, kind of like some snowball ones, some gumballs, some fun ones I'm going to use for the chimney. And these are gumballs that just have rainbow bits on them, a screen lifesaver and a Airheads rainbow strip. Now the most important part is the gingerbread silicone mold. And I'm going to put a link in the description box for that if you're interested in getting one of your own. So this gingerbread mold is two pieces. Here you can see the front and the back of the house. And I'm going to be putting my pink melted chocolate here. And then on the door, I'm going to put it white. But just for space here to show you, I'm going to be working on this one bottom piece. Now this bottom piece has the roof and the side panels of the house. And I've got it on a cookie tray, as you can see. That's going to help keep it um, kind of stable because you're going to be popping it into the fridge. So what I've got here as I'm just pouring my melted chocolate in there and then I'm just going to use an offset spatula to spread it out and then I'm going to pop it into the fridge for about 20 minutes and everything will be set and then you want to repeat with the other house or the other um, silicone mat as well and so it's super easy and it's super quick and it comes out really easily if for some reason you find that it's not coming out it's because your chocolate might not be set yet so make sure that you've got it set into the fridge for at least that 20 minute time and then you can kind of give it a wiggle and then just touch it and you'll be able to tell if it's hard in the center whether or not that it's ready to come out so once i've got all of my pieces made i'll be back to show you the assembly so with the pink sides of our house, we are going to now use some of the extra chocolate to glue the house to the board and to glue the sides to each other. So I'm just going to take some chocolate and I want to run it along the bottom here. And you've got a couple seconds before the chocolate actually sets here. And this part is all gonna get covered up later on. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect. And so I'm just going to use like a jar or something that will help support the side. Now to this next side here, I'm just going to run it along the bottom, some chocolate, and then along the side here that's going to attach to the front of the house. So just line that up like this. And then I'm gonna repeat that for both of the other parts. And I'm just gonna tuck this jar into the side there so it's supporting both the side and the front. And I'm going to repeat that on this side. With the house assembled, the base here, now we're going to put on the roof. So I'm going to use my pink, uh, my pink chocolate again, and I'm just going to bring it up the sides and then across this little part here and then up this side here. And that's just gonna to help to make sure the roof stays in place and just place it on top of there. And you might have to hold it for a couple seconds like that. It should go pretty quickly. Yep, almost, there we go. And then repeat on the other side. So I'm just going down and across and back up and then I'm going to put it on top again like this and I'm trying to line them up just kind of in the peak here in this top there 
And then if I have a gap, which I kind of have a tiny, tiny one, we're gonna fill it up with candy anyways, but if that really bugs you right in the center there, just take your white chocolate and then just fill it in ahead of time. Now, before you put the roof on, if you don't want an empty house, fill it with candy, fill it with Christmas cookies, fill it with, with whatever you want. It'd be extra fun to have something as a surprise kind of hiding in there. But for me, the chocolate is quite enough. So we're gonna fill up everything with candy on the outside um, coming up now. So the first step I'm going to do to decorate the outside of the house is I'm going to put my brown chocolate Smarties here and just I'm going to go up the front here and up the side here and I'm going to do that on all four corners. So I just got some of my extra pink or my pink, I keep wanting to call it icing just by habit. So I've got my extra chocolate there and I'm just going to line these straight up here and then I'm also going to do that up the side like I was mentioning right here so it's kind of going to be like one two three four five six seven eight of these little chocolate smarty lines so once we do the sides of the house the little smarties we're going to work on the window ledge underneath so I'm just going to put a little bit of chocolate underneath here you don't need too much and this doesn't have to be straight or anything because we're going to ultimately cover it in the end in like some white chocolate which is going to look like snow I'm just putting these there like that. And then around the outside, I'm going to do just like a thin layer of chocolate here. I'm only gonna go about halfway because I don't want my chocolate to harden. And I'm going to take my silver dragees and I'm just going to attach them into that chocolate like that. And I'm just going to go around all of the window ledges and the sills. The last thing we're going to do to these windows at the front is we're just going to put like a little dollop of white chocolate in the corners of each of these little window sills and you can clean up any of the chocolate afterwards so don't worry about any extra that you have there it's really actually easier to clean it up once it is hardened so I'm just spreading it kind of like up and across just kind of filling in the corners with the with like snow so as if it was like a big snowstorm had blown in. So now we're going to move on to the peak here and the sides of the roof. So just putting some white chocolate in that peak and then I'm going to put some chocolate here along the sides. And I'm going to be using my cola balls for the top here, just one of them right in that spot there. And then I'm going to be using the colored Mike and Ikes and I'm going to be putting them along the edge here and you're going to have to hold them. So it's just going to take a couple seconds and I'm just going to go through like the rainbow. So some red, orange, yellow, there, that's going to stay there and then green, blue and purple all the way around. I'm going to go all the way around the edging of the whole entire roof here, even along the sides. So once I have all of my rainbow icicles on, I'm going to line both sides of the peak of the roof with these pink Smarties. So I'm just using my white chocolate again, and I'm just going to press my Smarties up into that chocolate, and I'm going to do both sides of the peak. Now we're going to make the chimney. So what I've got are my two candies. I'm just going to take some of the white chocolate and glue the two pieces of the chimney pieces together like that. And then I'm going to set that off to dry. This one should be dry. And I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to cut it at an angle, kind of crunch your, it's tough through that candy there. And then this is going to be the proper angle to sit on the roof. You only need one of them. I just have two for demonstration purposes. Now we're going to make the smoke for the chimney and I'm going to be using this airhead strip. Now I'm just going to do a bunch of folds and kind of turns here like this, kind of like an accordion fold. And then using some white chocolate, I'm just gonna secure these two ends. Put some chocolate there, chocolate there, and it does take a bit to, to um, solidify here. So what I found works is if I just take one of my other containers, put it on its side like that, and kind of lean that on there like that, it's gonna hold it and then the ribbon will still move to be like the smoke, just like that. So we're going to work on a couple of the yard elements and the door. So with the door, I'm just going to put a little dab of the white chocolate there, and I'm going to attach a little brown M&M to the top like that. Then I'm going to just put some white chocolate on the back of a lifesaver. And this is going to be the wreath that's going to go on the door. So just flip that over about there. And then I'm going to just put some little dabs of white and then of the chocolate, and then I'm going to attach the little red rainbow chips here and that's just kind of going to be some berries or some color for the wreath so i'll finish the rest of that part after but next up we're going to do some of the door some of the yard stuff so 
one of the snowmen. We can start with the bigger ball and then the medium ball and you can make like as many snowmen as you want, two for your yard like this and then a small one on the top like that and hopefully he'll stand up. He might need a little encouragement over here standing up. I'm going to lay him down just to make sure that he can, he can solidify there. Now with the trees, we're going to take some of these different green myconikes and then I'm just going to kind of attach them. I'm going to put a big blob. Now because I'm working on a silicone mat, this chocolate is going to come off of it afterwards. If you want to work directly on your actual cake board, go ahead. Just this is easier for me to show you guys how to do it. So it's kind of making like a star shape here and then building up, putting more chocolate around here and then filling in other little colors here like that. You can like put different, some of the rainbow bits on for lights on your Christmas tree. And these will, if you just hold them here, they're going to stand up straight. So I'm just going to hold and do this and let the tree kind of solidify. And then I'll show you how to make the rock candy trees. So for the pop rock trees, I have my gum drop here and I'm just taking a sharp tool. It's a fondant tool and I'm just pressing it down into the center. It's kind of just like making a guide hole there. And then I'm going to take my pop rock stick and just push it, push it in like that. And it's going to stand and you're going to use a little chocolate on your, on your, um, your board in order to have that stand it just so it doesn't fall over there. I'm going to put that down. Now for the fence posts that are going to go around my pretzels, I'm just using a little piece of the Pocky. It's cut up and I'm just going to put a little dab of the white chocolate there. And then I'm going to put a silver drage at the top. And then these are going to go in between each of the pretzel fence posts. So moving on to work at the front door here. So I'm just going to put a stripe of um, the white chocolate along the base there. I'm also going to put it kind of right here. Now this part, if you get messy, again, the fun thing about this project is it totally doesn't matter how messy you are because the whole rest of this base of this, of the board here is going to be covered in white chocolate. So I'm just putting these little cola balls along here. I'm going to do that along the whole edge of the house. So all sides of it. Now out front, I've got my door in place. I'm going to kind of make a pathway just there. And again, you can do this however you'd like to. And I'm going to use these almonds to put in place there like that. I'm going to spread those out. Now you need to cover the entire part in front of the door. I'm just going to move that one over a little bit, cover that whole thing. And then I'm going to use a spatula to fill this in. And then I'm going to dump my rainbow candies here to kind of like make like a little bit of a pebble stoneway here. So once I've got these all in there and press them down so like you can even get the chocolate squishing up, it's going to look really cool. And then I'm going to cover the whole rest of my board in the white chocolate. So all I do for that, is I'm just going to like squeeze it on like that, the whole thing. And then I'm just going to use a spatula and then just smooth it on and kind of make it like messy. You can put coconut on if you want to, but we're also going to be adding sanding sugar to like different parts of the house. So likely there'll be some sanding sugar ending up on top too. We have the board all covered. So now we're going to kind of do one of the final steps and that's, we're going to take our white chocolate and I'm just going to fill in this area up top. I'm going to go all the way down there, but so you can see it better. I'm going to fill in this here and I'm just kind of going to bounce it down there. You kind of want it to go over top of all of these little, they could be Christmas lights or they could be rainbow icing sprinkles. And then I'm going to take my sanding sugar and sprinkle it over top. So this is what I meant where your wet chocolate on the board is going to catch some of the sanding sprinkles and it's just going to give it a little bit of glimmer. Now what I'm also going to do while I'm working up here on the roof is I'm going to take some of my white chocolate onto my chimney and I'm just going to attach it and hold it there so we can keep it. Oh, it's going to stay right away. So I'm just going to finish snow covering everything and then I will show you the fence, which should be our final step. So our last step is to put the fence around the border of the cake board. So I'm just going to take my pretzels and dip them in the chocolate. And then they just take a couple seconds to hold them to make sure they stay in place. And then the, I'm going to take my Pocky sticks that I made a couple steps ago, and I'm just going to put them in place right beside the pretzel there like that. And then I'm just going to repeat this pattern. So pretzel and then Pocky stick 
all the way around the outside of the cake board. And I'll be back to show you the finished house. So there you go everybody, how to make this adorably cute Christmas chocolate house. Now you can see like I've added all the details into the yard here and I even found some candy gingerbread men so I hope you think that they complete the house. Thanks so much for watching, make sure you stay tuned for lots more holiday videos and I will see you guys all again next time.